god, it's so warm <laughs> that I thought that I was going to do the eye look first in this video and then my face because my face is just, oh, I'm so warm. It's so warm in Sweden. Uh, and I'm going away and I know this is my own fault, but today it's Sunday. This video is going up today we pushed it back a bit not just because of me <laughs> Marlin and Linda you know why uh, but uh, that's a good thing and it's my own fault that I have not filmed this until now but it's that type of week uh, where I'm not feeling bad uh, but I'm not feeling good uh, I'm just feeling, <laughs> I'm just being uh, aware and when I feel like that it could go either way and I feel like I can control that really. I can try and make it go the positive way but I don't know. So that's why there has not been a video since Wednesday so you know. Uh, but today is the fourth collab uh, with Linda and Marlin in this Jeffree Star uh, series. And today we are using uh, Thirsty. I don't know if I have used this. I'm so bad. Well, that's for another thing. But yeah, uh, the only thing that bothers me with this palette is that, I don't know if you can see it, but these are not equally long, so it's... You know how I feel about crooked palettes, but it looks fine over here, but on this side It's not so it's a bit crooked, but yeah, you we all know how this looks like it has the drops I think it's pretty. I think it's a fun and unique palette um, As unique as you can be um, I think I really love uh, the shades these three shades Based on the color, because I have not used them, obviously. And this one. And I'm excited to try this formula. The only thing also since... Um, it, and it has been there since I bought it. Just so I don't break it. I don't know if you can see, but this gold shade has leaked. Which I have seen in some of my Uvias palettes as well. Because there is so much oil in it, I would suspect. And that annoys me. Because <laughs> I would like my packaging to be clean. But we are going to use this, and for this we are using the same shade, so it's kind of a face-off, I guess. Um, and you can see the shades here. We did um, a random number generator, but we did two shades from this row, two shades from this row, which are both mattes. Yeah, and one shade from this row. And Molly did the random number thing, and <laughs> she almost got all boring shades. It could be worse, but it could definitely be better. But that's also a good thing because then I know that these are not the shades that I would pick if I were sitting down with this palette. And that's kind of the point when doing a palette bingo or face, uh, you know, whatever. And the shades we got were Taste Buds, which Molly and Linda told me were not that great, but we'll see. And we got Kumquat. And... Quench, I was so happy when she told me that shade, <laughs> and Subtle, and Plunge, which is this gold. So you all have them all here. This swatch, incredible, this shimmer, it felt so dry that I was surprised because, like I said, it looks like it has leaked oil, and now I can see that the silver has leaked oil as well over here. Uh, so you suspect them to be super foily, but when I swatched it, it felt like uh, not really a pressed glitter, but as close to a pressed glitter that it can feel, but still be a shadow. I hope you know what I mean. And then it swatched like it was super foil, like I can continue it. <laughs> uh, oh God, <laughs> it's really pretty and um, I'm looking forward to using that. Uh, and there you have the other shades. And I would like to try to do something else. 
uh, that is not that obvious, but still, you know, it's me, so I will do something with me. So I want to accentuate the yellow and the shimmery shade, so I will use those the most. And the only rule is that you have to use all the shades. So, yeah, let's uh, try to make this happen. So I will try to, uh, not try to, I will use the yellow shade, Quench, first. I am planning on using it again, but I want to have it here. And I'm not sure if I can keep this makeup on because um, I'm going away to uh, Dolby Stenbrot. Is it called? I don't know what Stenbrot is in English, but it's like uh, if I have the time, I will find a word. But it's like rocks mountains whatever <laughs> not mountains because it's sweden but you know a place that is surrounded by rocks and cliffs cliffs and then there's water in the middle swim there <laughs> i'm not going to swim because of reasons but my friend asked me if i want to go and she's going to swim but i'm just going because i i want to hang out with her <laughs> well now I'm using a very fluffy brush, but it's not the most pigmented yellow, but I've heard that before, so I'm not very surprised. Uh, and this is not going to show up that much. Oh God, I'm sweaty. I'm so sorry. And I can't find my um, sunscreen. I have a base with 50 e in SPF I have a backup of it but I don't want to open it until because the other one is not empty um, and that's really good as a makeup base I used that when we were on a cruise uh, it's mattifying and uh, helps with acne problems and that if you have that and it didn't feel greasy uh, but it still was easy to you know distribute Distribute, distribute, you know what I mean, over and over the face. I really was impressed with that and I would have liked to use that, but because I got sunburned the last time I was outside, but since I can't find it, I want to look a bit more and then open up the one I have because I want to save that for um, the cruise next year. I was so sure that I had it with my primers. But it wasn't there and it wasn't with where I have my primers that I have not opened because I thought that maybe I have put it back. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm guessing it is in some makeup bag. But I will have to go look. So I will have to use a foundation with SPF but I don't have one with that high so I would really like to try the IT Cosmetics CC cream but every time I'm thinking of ordering it I just change my mind. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can intensify the yellow a bit before going in with another shade but um, I'm suspecting no. You know, I like Jeffree Star's shadow. There are very few I have a problem with. And most of them you can work with if you use different techniques. But there will always be duds. And to my understanding, people say that there are a lot of those in this palette. But who knows? Uh, I'm not going to get to use the shades I want today. And maybe we can do another video with that. So yeah, let's use, oh my god, I hate that we have both Saddle and Kumquat, but I'm going to use Kumquat. Maybe it's more orange than it looks. Because Saddle is like a darker crease color for me. Oh yeah, this is more orange than it looks, then I'm fine. That's good, because it doesn't look orange. It looks like there is a hint of orange in it but not as you can see here maybe it's because the yellow base is helping it but it really looks more like a nice orange shade and that's good because i wouldn't have found out like that 
and I don't know if I told the story. Sometimes I start with a story and then I get into something else and then I just forget that I was talking. <laughs> but I, no, I'm considering not having this makeup on because I'm sweating inside and we are going outside and we will be sitting near the sun. Um, and it's so annoying to have makeup on and be sweating like a pig. Um, no offense to pigs, but you're saying. Um, and it's just nice to now be able to wipe your face. So I may take it off, but we'll see. God, I'm sweating. <laughs> Now is the question. I'm going to try and take the yellow shade all over the lid. I'm just trying something out that I wouldn't do normally. Like throwing brushes around. Um, because you know, I'm considering taking it off again so it doesn't matter. This series is so much fun and um, it's nice because for one thing you get to use a lot of palettes that I really 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 want to use more or you know for the first time even. I have used one shade from this in my... Uh, which shade did I use? Oh my god I used this palette when I did my collab with Anya but I can't remember which shade I used. Can I see which shade I used? No. Did I use the yellow? I don't remember. Never mind. Uh, but you get to use a lot of palettes that you want to use more. And you get to do it with your friends. And you know I love Linda and Marlin. And it's weird to say that um, about a lot of people. You know, I say that about a lot of people that I haven't met. But the YouTube platform is like that you know you have a lot of people that I would actually call friends we have more better words in Swedish but I'm going to say friends because they are people that I consider I can talk to that we support each other and if we would have if we would meet in real life I'm pretty sure that we would be friends for real because I think we will match my little Gunvald. Aww, he's hidden behind my stuff. Oh, is it warm? Get a warm. Get a little flecked. Eller var det störigt? Um, but yeah, um. And I consider Linda and Marlin my friends, uh, especially after last night because they went live on the Instagram. Maybe some of you saw that. Uh, and I was also a bit uh, where, you know, they are in Stockholm with two other people, you know, Carolina and one of Linda's friends as well. And we talked for like, I think we were on for almost two hours and talking and you know, it felt like being a part of their group for real because it was not just text messages and pre-recorded films. So, well, it felt nice to be included like that. And there are so many people that I would like to go and visit, but you know, My anxiety is really, traveling is one of the things I have the hardest to do. I even feel uneasy that I am going away now. I'm going to, the things that I don't like about, oh, this is going to be a long video, do I have time for this? The reason, one of the reasons that I don't like to go travel is because I want to know where I'm going, of course, how it looks, if I, like, 
for instance now that I'm driving is there parking is it easy to get there will I um, uh, find my way and so on and is what people am I going to see there and so on uh, and that's just going by car for like 15 minutes 20 minutes um, and this is I'm going to a place that I know I've been there a lot before uh, with one of the uh, one of my favorite people and I still have anxiety so going away to like get the boy uh, you know or never mind the cities but all over Sweden just to visit a lot of people that is so hard for me uh, when I'm traveling alone um, that's why I feel a bit sad because I would without a doubt spend the money and you know travel and everything it's not about that it's about I don't like going by train um, if I would travel I would go by car and I can't find my way there yeah yeah I know it sounds ridiculous and most of anxiety things you can't explain now I have the yellow orange yellow uh, but that's just the way it is so now I want to use that subtle shade before and then don't have to use it again. <laughs> um, the subtle beige color. I'm just going to use it in the outer corner um, and hope it gets a bit darker. Well, no. <laughs> Let's try. Um, and that makes me kind of sad. Uh, it's something that is not giving me enough anxiety to, to you know say that I will never do it but it's giving me enough anxiety to not plan it like just like that that did not help at all but I'm putting it on that counts oh my god and I'm so sweaty I don't know why I talked about this but yeah so that's why I'm always saying, you know, come here, you can live here, you can stay at my place, I will fix everything, I will pick you up. But if I just can not travel myself, I would be happy. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I can see that stupid shade, but... It's not a stupid shade, but in this look, it's kind of, you know, unnecessary. But I feel like that counts as uh, I used it. Just saying. Just doing like that. And then I want to put on the shimmery shade. Where is my... And the thing about this as well, when you're doing collabs in general, is that I, when this video is going up, I have at least one video to watch that I know is going to be excited and I know what time it's going up. And with this collab, I know that there will be two videos. And Molly and Linda usually does, maybe not as long as, long as video, long as videos, <laughs> long videos as me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, and I have tried to, you know, not always do the long videos, but never mind. But they will at least be around 30 minutes, and that I like. Now I'm going to use the shimmer, and I'm kind of thinking that I need to spray it. I don't know if Jeffrey said that you had to, but yeah. So let's take plunge. God. I think maybe it's good that I don't have a base on because I feel there will be fallout, but maybe not. God, what a different shade. It's like a glitter because there is not much um, base to it. It only looks like I have put on glitter. But it's not a glitter, you know. I don't know how to explain it. But I guess it is, like I said before, it is as close to a pressed glitter. 
as it can be without being a pressed glitter. And that I really like because then you can kind of, now I took a lot, but kind of see the shade underneath. That was cool. And this is eye safe, I'm presuming, since he's put it in an eyeshadow. Um, so that's nice. Or, you know, considered eye safe as the same way as pigments are. So, God, I like this a lot. Is there fallout? A teeny tiny amount of glitter I have here. But not a lot and that is expected I'm guessing that all of us will have this shimmer on the lid but you know maybe not and I'm going to use later I'm going to show you I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite highlighters that I thought would be appropriate and it's not a Jeffree Star highlighter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want to brush away because I'm sweaty over here. I'm going to take taste buds and see if that darkens it up. Because sometimes when you layer shades, it darkens up. And usually that's not what you're going for. But sometimes it is. And take a bit of that shade as well. Because these are all very light shades. There is not a dark shade in here. Now I'm taking cup quad. Because it doesn't have to be a dark shade. Because I do a wing liner anyway. So it doesn't matter. Pussit. Pussit. Tack. And that's how you say God bless you. No gods in here. Pussit. I'm taking com taste buds under here on my waterline, not on my waterline, on the lower lash line. Ow, and apparently in my eye as well. Men vad gör du gumball? Vad är det så varmt? Gumma think it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, you wait. It's not good. God, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Sorry if you find that disgusting, but I can't help it. Everyone is sweating today. Well, I kind of like it. Let's take more of the yellow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because now I didn't get too much of the yellow over here, and I want more yellow to show. looks like I have nothing on in the camera it seems but I'm pretty pleased it's kind of a light look but you know like I said there is not a lot of dark shades the only dark shade is stroke and drizzle and we didn't get those um, so I will try to put on a base and see if I can you know do eyeliner and everything and see if that helps and I will be back and I can tell you right now I'm going to use this palette it's from makeup geek i thought that would be appropriate make of that what you want uh it's one of my favorite makeup geek uh makes one of my absolute favorite highlighters i have all of their highlights in this compact uh both the duochrome and the regular and i also have the palette they made with kathleen lights and i love it looks super dark which i think a lot of people were surprised by it because Kathleen Dark is really light, but it doesn't show up like that if you don't, you know, spray it. I don't know. I 
use that shade a lot. I could probably hit pan there if I want to. But I have not used it in a while. Uh, I don't know why I'm being careful. I don't have makeup. So I'm going to use that. And that shade is called Starlight. And I love this. This is one of my absolute favorite formula of highlighter. It's definitely top three. Um, maybe I could do a video with my favorite highlighters. Because I love a lot of highlighters. But there are some brands that I have a lot from. And that I love their formula. I know when I need something that I will that I need to know, you know, this has to be uh, good, it has to look good and I have to be quick. I don't have time to, you know, do it all over. I use Makeup Geek and some other brands. So, yeah, I will be back. <laughs> bye. No, why do I say bye? I will be back. Hello. Now I'm back. And I have unfortunately MILF from Lime Crime. I don't like that name. Uh, on my lips because I just want something nice and easy if I don't take off this makeup. And I have Colourpop Punch Liner. This was a little bit harder to put on but it looks fine now. It can be the fact that I'm sweaty. But the thing you see here now, that is not sweat. That is <laughs> this. And I took a lot because I want a lot. And I have eyeliner and I can see that I have gotten mascara up here. So I will take that away afterwards. But this is the look. It's very not dark. It's very light. Uh, especially considering the latest look I've been doing with a lot of palettes in when it comes to bingos and stuff. What has happened here? And we used, as I said in the beginning, uh, we used taste buds and kumquat and quench and saddle and uh, plunge i really like the kumquat and uh, plunge um, hard to tell on taste buds because i use that just a little under here and little little on the lid quench okay so far the yellow is not the most pigmented but we'll see if it lasts and subtle well i guess that will be a good crease color for me but now i just you know put it on because i had to <laughs> um but yeah uh, i hope you go watch and linda and Malin. they will of course as always uh, their channels will be linked down below but also their videos will be linked. Um, and this video will be up a little bit later than we usually do on Sundays. And that is all, our, all of our faults. Now I'm going to go edit this very quick. So sorry if I missed something that should not have been in this video. <laughs> uh, but I'm going away very soon. And that is not highlighter. That, that is sweat. I'd rather be sweaty on purpose, you know. And we'll see if I even have the time to take it off. Uh, and my next video will probably be um, my monthly haul. I guess that will be coming up on... Is it called? Tuesday. The day after Monday. I always confuse what your uh, Tista or Tosta is called. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, but I think it's Tuesday. It's the day between Monday and Wednesday So I will probably film that tomorrow and I have it all here. I have Absolutely not received all the things and I have not even received my every star things Maybe I will receive them tomorrow But not all of them because some were recently shipped, but I have to say Beautylish uh, said that they had had some problems and Fine, if you let me know, then... Mm. But yeah, I think that was all I want to say. I hope so. Looking forward to see your videos, Malin and Linda. And thank you for the live stream. <laughs> uh, that was all. Bye! <laughs>